Da 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 How's it going? Didn't I used to write on here?
I haven't written in a bit of time.
delicate Steve.
Oh, hey! Hey, Opus. How's it going? We're, we're giving the original point of this channel a try again. I'm a little lost for what to actually work on, but... Uh, sounds like it. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, it's good that at least somebody's doing okay. But no news? <sighs> yeah. Are, are you at home right now? Are you uh, staying with people right now or are you at the hospital? Is that good? That's good. Is she able to eat? Food? I know hospital food isn't the best. Especially you want to avoid those fucking feeding tubes. Uh, feeding tube killed my dad, so not, not a huge fan of them. Uh, that's really good. Yeah. They're terrible. I'm happy, I'm happy to hear that it's seemingly getting better. I was trying to, I'm trying to write like articles for my newsletter, but I don't know what really to write about at the moment. Um, <sighs> this is always hard because I try, I want to get back to it because I got, I have some new followers, so and I haven't done it in a bit and I, but I, I don't have any great ideas.
Hi, no, no. Good to see you. Uh, it's been a long few days. Uh, I, I I was in the hospital. I don't know if you saw that. Um, better, yeah. Gotta, gotta, it's required a lifestyle change, but I think it's ultimately good. Opus, uh, so what, what, have, what have we all been working on these days? Oh. Uh, Opus, um, uh, how's the naming? Have you figured out any other names for your fictional royal line? It is getting a little, uh, I don't know, I'm going to shave it soon. I'm starting to get into my food and that's driving me up a wall. Yeah. Do it. I don't think I've ever seen one of your maps. You make. I, I I know what. Uh, yeah, I guess I could. Um. Oh yeah. I guess I could go for Pablo. He's a. Uh, I think I would just look like my dad. <laughs> This is my favorite picture of him. Yeah. This is my favorite picture. Uh, Pablo esque. This one always makes me laugh. This is him. This is him at Disneyland. Yeah. Well, he he was considered quite good looking. Yeah. Okay, but. <laughs> he's a dad at Disneyland, of course. He's tired. <laughs> it, it's just funny because he just looks so uh, like he just looks like a normal guy. Like, oh, how much more walking do we have to do? Which is what my dad was like when we went to. Disneyland. <laughs> uh, they said he actually had a good time. Anyways, 
Yeah. You wouldn't know it from that picture that he, he, he killed quite a lot of people. Uh, Pablo. Um, yeah. Sure. I'm, I'm Pablo Escobar Jr. I look Colombian. I, uh, I created a problem with hippos in Colombia. Did you guys have you ever heard about that the whole hippo problem that Colombia has now because of him? Um, they are, hippos are cute. It's a problem. Because they're totally decimating the local ecosystem. There's no natural predators for them, so they're populating and uh, uh, they're mass populating and kind of destroying the environment around them. Now, well, one, hippos are incredibly dangerous, and two, uh, the envir uh, environment is being, uh, the Colombian natural environment is being ravaged by them being there why like rabbits in Australia are a bad thing you guys hear of the rabbit wall in Australia yeah no it's a problem it's a problem that's oh this is how we, this is how this curse this can hurt environments really quickly so the logical solution is we need to introduce their predators to the uh, to the environment to fix it, uh, which are crocodiles, I believe. So we just introduce some crocodiles to the hippos, evens everything out. But then the crocodiles get too powerful. And what kills crocodiles? Well, at some point, we'll just keep introducing newer and newer animals until it all gets fixed. Like, um, Yes, delicious. Have you guys ever actually eaten crocodile? I've had some crocodile. I, th I think I've had crocodile before. Crocodile. It's like eating a dinosaur. Yeah, Opus and me, we're both from the south. Yeah! Yeah, southern. Yeah, southern things we do in the south, like eat crocodile. Yeah. Or lizards. That's a Texas thing. Well, more of a mix. Fist bump. Yeehaw! Pow! Pow! Gun. Oh, that's good. That's fun. Uh, see? Do I know him? Uh, no, no is in... No, no is Romanian opus. From the great nation of Romania. Also in Romania, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> Romania's biggest name there right now. Good for Romania for catching that guy after him operating openly for several years <laughs> and bragging about it. God, what a terrifying individual Andrew Tate is. I, he, he frightens me. 
it, it's funny because he's quite stupid in a lot of ways. Um, but he's just, yeah, yeah, he does. He is. I have a younger cousin, and I'm I'm worried he's the exact sort of guy that could fall into like Andrew Tate's like pole. Truly a <laughs> probably. I don't think so, but I his mom is probably super on that, but. There's a part I worry for. God, dude. I don't know. I, I think to myself, like, if I was a young guy, would I fall into his shit? I hope not. I don't think I would. Partly because I would immediately clock that he was a scam, scam artist. He's just. He's so. He's such a lame loser. I don't know. It, 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 you know, he's he, he's like a 14-year-old's idea of what cool is. And it's not even cool. And not, like, even when I was at 14, I wouldn't think he was cool. Yeah. No, what would have clocked me immediately is that he wanted me to spend money. And I would, I would have been like, oh, wh why, why do I have to spend money? I don't like spending money. <laughs> I don't want to spend money on things. And I, I, I've always had a little bit of a distrust of, like, the self-help stuff. Like, um... Like the Tony Robbins, like, self-help, self-actualization stuff. I don't, I don't really trust it all that much. I trust... Listen, I was a terribly pretentious child. I was a terribly pretentious child. Uh, I read... Guess guess what my really pretentious habit was? It's terrible. It's terrible how pretentious I was. I have a, I have an exception. I had an exception. I'm exceptionally pretentious in a certain. I was very pretentious in several ways. Oh, worse, worse. I quoted Nietzsche a lot. That's what I did as a teenager. I read Nietzsche books, and I was like, I'm very... I didn't fully understand what he was saying, but... I liked bringing him a lot, up a lot in conversations. That is, that is what I did. Raven! Hello! Raven Starfire, how's it going? Yeah. Well, no, no. How are things going? Great to see you. Uh, let me tell you, uh, I did not fully. Like, it would be Nietzsche or Kant. Yeah. 
Raven stir fry. <laughs> That's good. Raven Starfire, I suspect you're a fan of a certain show about teenage titans, superheroes. Let me think. Let me think. It's on the tip of my tongue. Is it Young Justice? Powerpuff Girls? Man, Powerpuff Girls holds up. I rewatched it recently. Uh. <laughs> really? Well, it's a good name. Uh. You know, also is really good, and nobody I know has seen it, which frustrates me because I want to talk about it. Is uh, the latest Adventure Time spinoff they've done, Fiona and Cake? Turns out it's a really good show, and I like it a lot. <laughs> I really like it, I'm, uh, and I beautiful. How's it going? Uh, um, so what's it, uh, what have you been up to? Are you, are you prepping for Nano? I theoretically should be prepping for Nano. Do I have any ideas about Nano? No. Do I have any ideas at the moment? No. Well, Raven, it is so wonderful to see you and have a very lovely sleep. Good night. Nano, Nan, uh, Nano Remo is National Novel Writing Month. It's where everybody attempts to write a novel in a month. I want to participate this year, but you know, the hospital and stuff kind of slowed that down a little bit. The ideas. You're supposed to write 50,000 words, which is a lot of words to write in a month. No, no, did you ever watch um, Adventure Time? Yeah, right, right in one word a day, 50,000. 50,000 days.
Well, the spinoff. There's a spinoff going on right now. Uh, that's really quite good, and I like it a lot. And I guess I just wanted to get that out there. Do you remember the Fiona and Cake episodes? Right, yeah, I forgot I have those things set up. Uh, I should probably move it. I've got to deal with it, have you? Just put it right here. That works. Let's see. Well, you have to see it now. I told you to see it. Let's see. Okay, there we go, that works. Not uber distracting. A little, a, a little, a little distracting. <laughs> I, uh, I usually don't like, like, super distracting things. I feel like people put too much stuff in stuff usually. Yeah. I like, I like, I like simplicity. Let's see. Okay. Because no, my natural tendency is to like kind of be over to this side, so that works. Minimalism. Yeah. Actually, you know, like, I don't know. I find, like, on streams, like, sometimes people, like, overburden their, like, viewers with too much, like, mental information, and I, I kind of like the more laid-back, I, I like a more laid-back feel. Yeah. I was on a panel once uh, where somebody was asking me about this, and I said, like, especially when you're just starting out, don't do that. Like piece of advice for Twitch streamers, and in many ways I'm still a beginning streamer, uh, is like, I, I, I always think it, yeah, oh my god, those things, those things are strange to me. Gah, gah, gah. I don't, I don't understand them, and they terrify me. I've been trying to stream. I've streamed. I've been streaming a little bit over on TikTok. Yeah. I think I've seen this person before. I've seen some clips of it. Sure, but we can look at it. I think I know who you're talking about. Good. Yeah, let's look at it. Oh, this is a different person. Okay, let's see. Certainly, uh, eating dick. Yeah. 
Do do. Um. Yeah. TikTok likes really like gimmicky. I don't know. I've been trying to stream there. I've just been trying to do what I do over here, over there. Ah. Sure, clip it. I dare you to. Um. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to stream over there. Just do it. I can't get anybody to talk to me. People just leave almost immediately. It's very, uh, very frustrating. Um, Yeah, it is. I don't know. Well, I think it's like an innate problem with like TikTok stuff is that like people who aren't like when was the last time you logged on specifically? Do you are you on TikTok? Like if I don't know. I'm on it, but I don't I delete it off my every day off my phone and then re-download it if I want to check it. It's stupid, but Cat? He's in cat. Is it? Is this a cat who's in cat prison? It's yeah, good. Don't. I don't know. I can do live. Oh. And that's a human, right? Not a, another type of cat. I most. I'm assuming. Oh, okay. I yeah, yeah. I get it. I get it. And this prison is run by humans or cats. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. And it's good. It's good. I don't think we ever establish if like the people we're talking about are cats or humans. I think that's important to know. Um, what did what did this guy do? What did this human man do to end up in human cat prison? very briefly about Fiona and Cake. Um, so the main guy, so they, the main character of Adventure Time, Finn, they've kind of, they've kept him on. Yes. Well, you never know, Opus. Someday somebody's going to say yes to that question. Um, I was just thinking about it. He is, a, I think he's approximately my age, the voice actor. 
or maybe a few years younger than me. I'm maybe being very presumptuous, but I think he's he's the right age to play. Like he's like in his mid twenty, you know, he's at least in his mid to late twenties now. But he still sounds so much like a kid to me. It's very funny. Anyways, <laughs> cats could be running uh, the prison. They could be running a prison out there. There could be a whole separate cat society we've heard nothing about. Like, um, we don't know. How do we know? No, they're just normal cats. I mean, don't you think lizard people is probably also a little bit of a fetish? Like, I'm sure David Icke uh, pleasures himself to the thought of, of the, you know, the royal, British royal family removing their face to reveal that they're lizard people. God, I know so much about conspiracy garbage. I just know so much about... I, I know so many conspiracy... It's not because I believe in it, it's because it's honestly quite funny to mock, but it means I, I'm aware of all these, like, idiots. Yeah, I'm matrix-pilled. Like, I got fascinated recently, uh, partly because Dan Olson, uh, who's a YouTuber I quite like, released a whole video about it. I'm very fascinated by, now by these, um, uh, what happened after the whole GameStop thing, uh, GameStop short series occurred. Uh, there's a mat. Would you believe that it devolved into a massive, yeah, Folding it. Folding Ideas is great. Have you seen his latest one? Yeah, he's great. Did you see the latest video he just did? I love I love that video so much. It's it, because it's just utterly fascinating. Yeah, about the uh, the Moas people, the um, the game stalk. <laughs> yeah, he sounds, he looks like your type of guy. The game stonk uh, individuals who. Uh, Yeah, the mother of all shorts. Oh, that's so... So the game... I don't know. The game, I was thinking about this lately. Is that, Like, GameStop, that thing, that could have only happened when it did at, because of a bunch of very specific circumstances occurred. And, like, everybody who's still into it is like, like, you guys know that it's past, right? Like, it happened. Like, the short squeeze happened. And it's like, no, it's going to happen, man. It's going to happen. Diamond hands, baby. Now, there is some, as somebody who does trade stocks, there is some truth in that holding is a good idea. It's, it's a good idea to hold onto things, but it's like, that's for like things that like work. Like it's a generally good idea to hold on to stuff that's like doing well, because they just kind of go up slowly with the uh, you know they just kind of slowly go up over the years. What doesn't work is holding on to these like fly by night like money money things. Like ah. Uh. The fact that cryptocurrency was ever popular. Yeah. I believe he's married already, but... It's Baba Kiss, and apparently I have little sound effects. <gasps> no, you get rated, nerd. Hey, Bob. How's it going, buddy? Uh, fun fact about Baba Kiss here uh, that I like to bring up every time. 
Bobicus is literally uh, my first commenter. Bob, Bob was literally the first person who stopped by my stream and said said nice things to me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should be jealous of Bob. Yes. So I will always remember that. I will always remember. Yes, Bob slays. Bob is slayer. Tell me your world, Billy. Tell me, Bob. I wish to know. Oh, what the heck? Sophia of Gaming, thank you for the follow. Well, Bob is good company. That's everywhere. <laughs> Everybody, go follow Bob. Oh, wait, let me shut up, Bob. Uh, let me shut you up. That's a that's a spooky idea, Bob. With the plants and stuff. How is it not? That's a great title. So Sophia, uh, so so, uh, are you are you uh, are you get uh, I I take I take it I take it, in theory and inclination and all relevant parties that you are a writer as well. Theoretically, I'm supposed to be writing right now, but I'm, I have a million, you know, I have a ton of ideas. How, how does that fit? Oh, well, that's more than me. I guess I'm just... Well, that, that, you're, you're more than most people who call themselves writers. I don't have any great ideas at the moment. Oh, well, I do have... It still counts. I don't have any... Fantas fantastic. Are you going to be participating, Nano? Oh, na oh, no, no. I know you watch me in my sleep. Me, uh, I do like humor stuff mostly. I'm trying to write like a sci-fi thing right now. I, I consider myself a humor. I, at some point, I was a humor writer. 
Uh, I have a newsletter that's kind of a vehicle for all that stuff, that, all my humor writing stuff. Uh, if people want to follow it, I would be very much appreciated. I was actually going to work, try and work on that tonight, just, but I don't have any great ideas. does that. You have to click it a few times before it gives you a nice clean one. There we go. Hello, Callie. I'm trying to write this sci-fi thing, and I've got the first act all figured out, but the second act is a little bit in the lurch. Okay, so it's not the most original story in the world. I wasn't going for super original, but okay. So it takes place in it takes place in the far future. Humanity is, you know, in the stars and all that stuff. It predisposes. A, this is a radical idea. It predisposes a world where humans can travel through space. story is about this yes yes it is I changed my name hello fleece comrade maps good to see you good to see you good to see you it has been a while It's Superstar Sean Arnold now. My, my, my name used to be Bigfoot. I used to go by Bigfoot. And occasionally I consider going back to it. But Yeah. Yeah, okay. So. I, it goes. It's been a weird few weeks. How's it been going with you, Fleece? Uh, been doing good? Uh... Big toes. Uh, how how how's life? The story I'm working on it concerns the ship, the cruise ship. Oh, sh sure. Okay, so the story I'm working on it concerns the cruise ship, the Galatea, which is a uh, which was a kind which is essentially a floating. Uh, city ship you know it was a floating city that uh, was a cruise ship for the riches of the rich and uh, a few years ago it mysteriously disappeared and has just reappeared on onto the re it has just reappeared uh, reappeared and uh, it's about um, and there's this girl Lenny who was a who was a crew member on the Galatea? Y yeah, well, uh, the Galatea may have done something very stupid. Uh, they may have wandered into a place they should they should have not have wandered into. Um, yeah, it's a little system shocky, a little bit uh, a a aliens. I'm kind of inspired by the a aliens movies, also. I was trying to go for uh, like a simpler plot than like a big epic. So Lenny, as one of the few surviving crew members, is hired, is brought in by a team of mercenaries, is brought in by a team of mercenaries to uh, enter the Galatea and hope to recover it. And uh, needless to say that uh, Galatea has pick picked up some new uh, passengers that are a problem. Um, Mainly monsters uh, invaded the ship and killed all the people. Yeah, 
and it becomes quickly a it's like a fight for survival and stuff that's the basic idea of the story Fleece, how are things going? I could do that. No, it's sci-fi. It can be sci-fi. Uh, well, that's the basic idea for my uh, for Nano. I, I, I mean, sure, but. I guess maybe it could be that, but... Okay, yeah, I assume I do. I I think I'm gonna stick with sci-fi. Uh, a variety of different ways. I'm thinking more... Well, that's good to hear, Fleece. I mean, I guess, I guess it could be nautical. I mean, there's some stuff. Yeah, maybe. But I'm thinking more like... Just, Well, um, that is a good question. How do Americans actually like their coffee? Uh, a lot of Americans will tell you that uh, they like um, like bold, thick flavors, even though sales and studies show that Americans actually prefer kind of prefer weaker. Yeah, prefer a, a weaker uh, before uh, a more creamy, weaker coffee. Um, I like my I, I put I always put a little chocolate in my coffee. Yeah. Depends. I, I got really into coffee Americanas, uh for a while cafe Americanas. Uh, um which is uh coffee mixed with uh sparkling water and lime. It's really tasty. If, if, if you ever want to try if you ever want to try like a particularly good like a like a different type you mix sparkling water lime and coffee together and it, it's it's refreshing which is very rare uh, I like a good mocha uh, I've I, I was in the hospital recently uh, I don't know if people saw that but uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna, I'm kind of giving up coffee probably for I don't know if not for oh, for a while, so I guess it's just me like wistfully thinking about all the con yeah. Pretty, it's an espresso mix mixed with hot chocolate. I but I have to I have to I have to think about my health now. <sighs> I'm not I'm I'm kind of trying to stay away from caffeine just in general. Yeah, it is a motherfucking dangerous drug, of chicken. I agree. I agree completely. Yeah, I could, I, Callie. I couldn't tell. What? No. Yeah, it really is.
I I'm doing uh, I'm doing good. Uh, I don't know uh, if you follow the Discord or my YouTube. Uh, I was I was in the hospital recently. Uh, I was in the hospital recently for for uh, a blockage in my small intestine. Yeah, it was weird and scary. Uh, I post about it all the time. I, I made several videos of myself doing it, but um, yeah. It was not fun. See, uh, I was never like eight or ten cup guy. I always just made like I always had a big thermos, and I would always just make myself, myself like one big cup, and drink it throughout the day. I also I like tea. I, I, I do like tea actually. I drink. I, I'm grow. I grow tea. Yeah. I. Uh, people know that. People might not know this. I grow tea in my garden. Uh, green tea in my garden. It's it's pretty nice. It's nice. It's clean and fresh. Uh, is it more now? I forget. Uh, I yeah. I think people were abusing it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so I grow sugar cane. I, I make my own sugar tea. I grow sugar cane and green tea in my garden, and yeah. Well, no, no, they're both fruits. They're both plants. You know those little like thing tea leaves. Yeah, I grow sugar cane. Uh, sugar, sugar is a plant. It's a fruit. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. Uh, I, I haven't made it in a while, just because I don't want to like. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of of the plant, and I want to make sure it survives. Yes, I'm pretty good at it. But I, I'll, I'll draw you a picture. Chicken wing. Yes, and isn't it so? Hmm. If only I lived in a tropical environment. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I live in a tropical environment. So yes, yes, it does. Houston is trop Houston Houston is tropical. Yeah. Yeah, I have a yeah, in Tejas, yes, or semi-tropical, I guess technically, but we're, it's it works. I'm I'm growing it. I'm growing it pretty well. Yeah, no, I don't grow just bottles of Lipton. I grow the actual tea leaves. See, no, no, how you make green tea is you um you pick some leaves, you cut them up. Uh, sure. I have a video on YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's middle of night now, so it wouldn't work. But yeah, I can. I'll make a little. I can. Yeah. It, it it's well we're te we're like semi tropical technically I guess not fully tropical. Um. Well, yeah, because it's the middle of the night, so it wouldn't work exactly. What else am I growing? I'm growing mangoes. Those are the things I'm most excited about because they're huge. Haven't seen... Texas. Texas does have the real heat. Yeah. We have the real a real copy of heat in our uh, in our library. And each of us can, if we want to, we can go down there and watch heat. Yeah, I... My mom helps me out quite a bit, but yeah, it's it's what's so uh, the nice thing about living in Texas is like it's just any you can grow almost anything. It's amazing. Like there's so many things you can grow. It's 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 shocking. And it, yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, I know. I could watch Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. I uh, I mean, it's it's a pretty big garden, so I can do a lot. So I I can put it it I can put it in places and it doesn't really matter. Uh. Let's see. Uh, let's see. All the plants I'm growing are, yeah, yeah. No, no. I know. I'm. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, yeah, you can really watch the heat sometimes. It's quite shocking. Uh, I've got two mango trees. I've got a sugar cane tree. I've got a jujube -ju tree. Oh, see you, no, no. I've got a jujube uh, -ju tree, which is a fun word to say. It's uh, it's a Chinese date tree. Um, I've got a pawpaw. I've got sugar cane. I've got green tea. Oh, what else do I have? Uh, I have these things called miracle berries, which um, when you eat them, uh, they briefly suppress your uh, sour sour receptors in your tongue so everything tastes extra sweet and I've had them before they're quite fascinating Yeah, you should. Green tea is good. Uh, I've had flower tea before. If you ever had, that's a fun one. Uh, where it's like, I, I could have that now. There's no caffeine in that. I could probably make some flower tea, right? I still have, have it. It comes out, it's beautiful. It's like uh, airy and blue. It's blue tea. It's really, it's really tasty. I could theoretically just go down. I have it still. I could make some. I don't. I don't feel like. Theoretically, fleece. Theoretically, I'm supposed to be writing right now, but that's probably not going to happen. I should just switch to just chatting. I, I clearly don't have the energy to. Uh, yeah, there's that. I mean, Bob... I mean, it's not a terrible idea that Bob had. But I was kind of work, working in sci-fi, and yeah, it's not... I don't know. There's that. No, that's something I'm prepping for Nano. It's not something I... I'm going to dismiss offhand. It's... There's some strength to it. Um, I guess I'm just trying to plot what to do next in that. 
The problem fleece is, and I think people will sympathize with this, first acts are very easy to write, and second and third acts are very difficult to start. I'm sure we all, everybody here has had a ton of first acts prepped, but um, it's very easy to introduce everything. It's very hard to like make everything work. What's the old phrase? Just have a man with a gun run in. So, but it's first acts are simple. You just introduce all the characters and their conflicts, but it's after a while you gotta like. So it's like I don't know what, what would be next. Like, I have them arrive on the Galatea, and then what? It's eerily. There's a little bit of temptation for me to just rip off Bioshock right here, but I probably shouldn't do that. Although we should all just rip off Bioshock more. That has to be like the funny, like Bioshock in a way has to be like the funniest rebuke of a novel ever. Because if, uh, if you're not aware, Bioshock... First act is important for establishing care. Care. Uh, first act is important for. Uh, that's a method. I don't want to do that method though. First act is important for establishing like character. I, I think first act is important for establishing character and who they are and what they're doing. Um, why they would want to do something like this. Um, it's not a wrong method. I just don't think this is a very. I don't think this is the way to go for this uh, this idea. If uh, people don't know, uh, Bioshock is also is also a philosophical rebuke to um, specifically the book Atlas Shrugged, which is about uh, a lot of things, but all of them kind of sleazy and bad. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, there is something to be said about starting mid-action, but I don't know. See, this is why I, this is why I tend not to share my ideas early, because it's like, and then I get too in, too in my head with uh, people saying stuff. No offense to everybody, but it's like, it's, I, it's usually, I prefer to usually just kind of think them through in my own. Um... Like, I don't know. Like, okay. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I guess I gotta just, like, think of a... Like, right now, I have them, like, in my notes at least, I have them, the character... I haven't even really, like, nailed down the personalities of all the characters yet. But right now in my notes, I have them arriving at the Galat to the Galatea into like a standard thing, and it's like, well, what do I do? what do I do now? I haven't even like decided exactly. Like vaguely, I wanted to do alien uh, like like aliens invaded, but I was thinking li lately that maybe like the. Well, that's kind of cliche, but I shouldn't worry about cliche. I should just, yeah. 
See this like, but this is the problem like with me trying to think of stuff. It's like I'm I'm so I'm always in my own head about everything. This may Yeah. Everything is cliche now. It yeah. Yeah. It's kind of about instinct and all that. Yeah, I know. It's difficult. Um, and it's hard to, like, say the process out loud a little bit because it's like, uh, wh well, it's sort of this, but maybe not that. And, like, there's a vibe that I'm not connecting with. This may have... Yeah, still figuring it out. This may also be a little bit inspired by... Um, now that time has passed, I feel... Yeah. This also may have been a little bit inspired by the... Uh, do, do, does, does everybody remember that whole Ocean Gate thing that happened? That with the, with uh, the, guy, uh, the guy who got him and several people killed because he built a cheap sub. He tried to dive into a submarine very cheaply. And I, I kind of had this idea in my head of like... Oh, uh... Yeah. So, this happened a couple of months ago where, um... It's kind. Of, it's a. It's a sad story for the other people involved, but the main guy behind it is a. Should be condemned for, for recklessly endangering everybody's life. Uh, I'll say that. Um, so basically, uh, there was this rich billionaire guy named Stockton Rush. Uh, he had found it. He he's kind of an you know he's kind of one of these guys who like fancies himself an adventurer, and he had founded this submarine company called Ocean's Gate, and I believe the idea was to make like cheap ac accessible submarines for like that anybody could afford, and so he what he decided that him and a couple of his billionaire friends and his son unfortunately would do was they would. Um, use this submarine to see the Titanic. And, uh... Um... Yeah, the sun is the saddest part. I feel really bad for the sun. I don't... I, I feel less sympathy towards him, but that's horrible. Yeah. Well, we're going to be using real life to inspire the fantasy elements of all this. Um, yeah, the son is definitely the saddest part. He was, his stupid father got him into, stu uh, you know, fucked, you know, got him into a stupid thing that he shouldn't have been. Anyways, so, uh, the, uh, I love me some good high fantasy. I've tried writing high fantasy several times. I just can't, for some reason, I just can't write it. It, it just refuses to let me write it. Yeah. Love me a good high fantasy. I was considering making this a high fantasy. I wanted... I don't know. But I, I'm more comfortable with sci-fi, I guess. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, the submarine... got stuck. They lost communication with the submarine. And although they never found it again, it's good... it's probably gone forever. So I kind of had this idea. It's like, okay, what if we did like space version of that? But oh, they found pieces eventually. Yeah, well, of like so like there's this like there was these group of rich people who like uh, like who mysteriously who built this like ship, and the idea was to go out into the outer reaches of space where you're not really supposed to go and it disappears but what if like it mysteriously reappeared was my was kind of is kind of my thought process like it, and it mysteriously reappeared so like these mercenaries 
kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy characters go to it to try and well maybe we could make money from it you know maybe there's something on there or the ship itself may be valuable that's sort of my basic idea So it's like, you know, it's about rich, you know, it's these rich idiots who do stupid shit and um, it's a group of mercenaries trying to recover it. So I guess you should really think, I guess I really should think in those terms. I didn't want to just do zombies though. They always do zombies in these sorts of stories. I don't want to just do zombies. That is that it. That would be a good book title. Uh, good. good oh, that would be like a seven-volume book, really. You you could, you could you could write you could. That would be a very long book. A complete history of rich idiots doing stupid shit. And it's like, oh. I feel like sympathy for them, obviously, because that's a horrible way to die. But, um, you know, it, and no matter who you are, like, nobody deserves to die like that. But uh, it's also, guy ruined his own life to, even though it, literally everybody around him was saying that this was a dumb idea and he shouldn't do it. And he needlessly needlessly ruined his life so you know I don't like I you know I put myself in the mindset of people who are going through that and it's like you know it's just awful it's, it, it must be like the most terrifying thing in the world to go through like there was that um submarine uh, was it Malaysia is it Malaysia or that they lost contact with uh, not no 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 that wasn't even the worst part they had contact with it but they couldn't find it they couldn't they couldn't get to it in time so like they could they had like live broadcast from it they could see the people and talk to the people but there was just no hope in getting to them so like they just played so they just sang songs until the air ran out I guess this sort of is turning into Bioshock just a little bit. Who's played Bioshock? Yeah. Yeah. I love me a good fantasy story. Um, has uh, anybody... Has anybody been... I'm going to ask this one last time and then I'm going to give up on my quest to see if anybody's watching the show. Uh, anybody watching? Uh, did anybody watch? Is anybody watching the new uh, Fiona and Cake show? The spin off of Adventure Time? Damn it. It's good. Did anybody watch Adventure Time? One day. One day.
Sure. Uh, hey, uh, Fleece, before you go, uh, I have a newsletter now. Uh, uh, it, I would be, I'd very much appreciate a follow of it. It's free for everybody. Thank you. Well, you gotta watch it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's really good. And we get, we get to catch up with all the characters. I it was weirdly really sweet seeing um it was weirdly really sweet uh, seeing the uh uh all the characters again and. Um, anyways, thank you so much, thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate that so immensely. It's really good seeing you, Fleece. Should I just change my name back to Bigfoot? It seems everybody misses that name. I like my new name, but um, no worries. I tried to tell, I tried to announce it as far and wide as possible, but I guess people missed it. Um, go to bed, please. Go to bed. Go to bed. Uh, yeah. So what are people watching nowadays? And or reading and or viewing and if there's a smelling based medium that everybody's binging, what are people doing there? Here on the uh, wait, ooh, wait, tell me about it. I assume it has a hero and a crown of some sort, possibly in connection with each other. But besides that, I'm lost. And I suspect this Robin McKinley was involved in its inception. 
that ancient year. It sounds old. Love me some good old ancient old fashioned fantasy. Let's see. Oh, the hero in the crown is a novel written by published. That sounds fun. I love me some of good old fashioned. Then I like fantasy in general. I don't know. I have trouble. Like, I too appreciate vintage retro shit. It's always fun. Uh, um, let's see. What's the last thing I read? Uh, I read a book lately. Uh, yeah. Is it good? Are you enjoying it? Has the hero in the crown been... fun fantasy uh, I don't know. I'd love to read a good like modern fantasy but I don't I don't know nothing I found looks that interesting to me lately I'm sure I'm just being boring and judgmental, so. I'm very, like, um. I've written like five words and I I don't have any other ideas beyond that really we could do art Opus it was lovely seeing you uh, good times will come good times will come Opus um I've been doing mostly art lately but because it's just like I don't got any ideas really I will I will uh sure let's look at it why not don't uh, you can submit a thousand words She looks pretty good. My 
might, might, I might, I might watch it. I may read it. The chamber was dimly lit, dark shadows dancing all along the wall. <clears throat> the chamber was dimly lit, dark shadows dancing along the walls. The air hung heavy with an oppressive stillness. The walls, like the endless depth of black ice, absorbed the flickering, flickering torchlight, casting an otherworldly glow along the floor. At the center of the room, a throne of the same dark material rose from, from the floor. Its sharp, angular edges, a stark contrast to the fail, frail figure seated upon it. The old man, his frame bent and fragile, bore the weight of his years like a mantle. His uh, per uh, skin th thin clung to his bones as his once vibrant eyes were now clouded with age. His ancient frame was draped in, re in regal robes, their dark, very velvety fabric abandoned, adorned with symbols of destiny that he had long ruled, yet the robes hung loose on his skeleton form, a reminder of the years that had stolen his vitality. His bony fingers, like the talons of a widow, is an eagle, cl eagle clung to the throne's armrest, knuckles protruding like rocky outcrops from in a barren landscape. He perched unnecessarily on his on the throne. His bony fingers clung to its armrest. A table stood nearby, covered with old, yellowing maps and seen countless campaigns. This is great. This is great. This is good. You. This is a very good. This is beautiful. This is very beautifully written. It's very good. You should feel very proud of it. Very proud of that. It's, evo it's evocative. It's it, it's evocative and mood setting. It, it, it's evocative and sets the mood almost immediately. There's a po there's a poetry to it that I. I I've read a lot of I've read a lot of amateur writing, and it's it's, it's you, you've got a good tone for it. Feel proud. Really? Well, that's cool. I like that. I got a sense of, like, this is, yeah. Well, you know, it all, he lived a long life, and it's probably, you know, we only hope, hope to be remembered. I mean, it's obvious you got actual shit done, and that's good. can't all die. Yeah, on top. Uh, let's see.
I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, we're going to raid somebody. I just found them by looking through writing tab. It's um, I'm, It was really lo lovely meeting every, new people and talking to old friends. I uh, hope, hope, hope everybody stops by again soon. And uh, have a good day, everybody. Yes, total W stream. And be nice to the person we're going to raid.
Guess I'm still on. Guess I'm still on. <laughs> Oops.